Most ticker tape timers are used to record the motion of a dynamics cart or something similar inside of a lab for an introductory physics course. Now these ticker tape timers have a frequency of 60 hertz, which means they make 60 dots on this long strip of paper every second. Now we can use that to represent six dots representing 0.1 seconds. So let's first indicate the first distinguishable dot on our ticker tape timer. And from that we're going to calculate six. So one, two, three, four, five, and this is our sixth dot. So what that means is from here to here, 0 0.1 seconds have passed. And we're going to continue. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's another 0.1 seconds. And one, two, three, four, five. And that's as far as we're going to go on this short ticker tape. So a total of 0.3 seconds. All right, well, let's collect some data. First, we'll create a table. All right, so here's our table. And next, we're going to need a ruler to make some measurements. All right, and we have the ruler aligned so that that initial marking is going to be the zero mark. So our initial position is zero. Uh, we don't have any displacement because that's change in position. We haven't had any changes yet. Same with velocity, which is displacement over time, and acceleration, which is change in velocity over time. So let's look at our point one mark right here. That looks like it's occurring at 1.6 centimeters. And then our 0.2 second mark, which is over here, is at about 5.3. I'm going to round up to 5.4 centimeters. And then our 0 0.3 second mark is over here at 9 point, and I'm going to round up again, 9.3 centimeters. Now our displacement is change in position. So it's going to be our final minus our initial, or in this case, 1.6 centimeters minus zero, which is 1.6 centimeters. Can continue for the next one, which would be 5.4 centimeters minus the previous position, which was 1.6 centimeters and we get a new displacement of 3.8 centimeters. And again for the last one, 9.3 centimeters minus 5.4 centimeters, which is 3.9 centimeters. All right, well, let's look at velocity. So velocity is displacement over time. So our displacement is 1.6 centimeters, and it took a total of 0.1 seconds to undergo that displacement. So our velocity then is going to be 1.6 centimeters divided by 0 0.1 seconds, which is equal to 16 centimeters per second. And we can do the same thing for the other displacements. So 3.8 divided by 0.1, because from 0.1 to 0.2, uh, 0.1 seconds pass. So that will be 38 centimeters per second. And again, 39 centimeters per second. Lastly, acceleration. Now acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over time. So I can't do anything here because I only have one velocity. Over here, I can do a change in velocity, which is final, 38 centimeters per second, minus initial, or the previous reading, of 16 centimeters per second, 
all over that time interval. How much time has passed from here to here? Well, 0 0.1 seconds. And when we do that, we get an acceleration of 220 centimeters per second squared. We can do the same thing here. 39 minus 38 is just 1. 1 centimeters per second divided by 0.1 seconds. We get a value of 10 centimeters per second squared. So I hope this helps you solve a ticker tape timer. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the lab.